With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. His resume is filled with professional baseball experience. How about over 40 years worth, including the major leagues? Today, the Larks announced Mark Wiedemeyer as their new field manager. It's a law of accumulation. A lot of little things isn't little, you know. So I think when you stress to the players the importance of detail, of being excited, uh, you know, the three E's, you know, energy, effort, and enthusiasm, bringing that to the ballpark every day and working on the little things that are going to make them better players. I think when that becomes a team concept, you really have something pretty special. Wiedemeyer will take over for Will Flint, whose contract was not extended. Team owner John Bollinger says successful teams recruit throughout the summer. They have good facilities, plus the importance of game prep and scouting has gone up a lot. They need to want to win. And I think that's the thing that really jumped off the page for me with, with Mark is, you know, yeah, it, got, it has to be fun. It has to be developing guys. We know why we're here, but dang it, winning games is fun. And winning games is going to develop guys into the best, their best version of themselves. And, and I feel like we've got the right guy to, to uh, encapsulate all those things. Some of the managers that Wiedemeyer has worked for include Joe Torrey, Matt Williams, and Kirk Gibson. Well, the past two years for the Bismarck Bobcats have followed a familiar script, a slow start and a really good second half. The only difference is that they missed the playoffs by a half a game last May. The Bobcats started at the showcase playing four games in four days. They picked up one win, which is more than the past two years combined. Lane Sedevy said he has a healthy mix of returning and new talent. Well, I think we do have a good mix of, uh, you know, returners. We have uh, basically our whole decor back. Um, you know, when you look up front, you have Patrick Johnson, you have, you know, Julian Beaumont, Kyle Dahl, uh, Brandon Reller, Evan Hunter, a guy who had a lot of success for us last year. So there are good pieces everywhere. And I think it's just, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's about, you know, building that, building that team over the course of seven months. Each of the past couple seasons, Bismarck brought in players throughout the year. Sedevi says they go into this one with multiple options at each position. The Bobcats travel to Aberdeen this weekend and play at the VFW for the first time on the 29th and 30th. Ryan Farragher and Wade Davison will be co-head coaches for the Legacy Boys Hockey Program. Harger was a, uh, Farragher rather, was a Robertson Cup winning goaltender for the Bobcats, and he played professionally for the Anaheim Ducks. Before Britta Curl headed back to the University of Wisconsin, she stopped by the station to pick up her Dakota Award from the Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association. We also did an interview, which will be part of this week's Sports Spotlight. Britta won a, uh, both a college championship and the Women's World Championship last year. Almost meant more because of the years leading up to it. You know, I made two world's teams that I was never able to compete in because of COVID and then the Olympic thing happened. So uh, this past year, finally being able to, you know, be in the jersey, on the ice, on the bench and uh, be on the ice to celebrate that was a big relief. Curl is entering her last season with Wisconsin. When the Badgers came calling, she says the recruiting ended quickly. I just felt like watching it as a kid, that seemed out of reach for me. So when I got the opportunity to play there, I felt like I couldn't pass that up. And uh, here we are almost six years later and still playing there and I still get to enjoy it. So it's really cool. And tune in tomorrow in the spotlight to hear Britta talk more about that Olympic thing. Mandan won the final regular season golf tournament in the WDA, a 50-stroke victory at Prairie West today. Saints were second. The Braves of Ruby Height and Anna Huddle both shot 71s. Height won in a playoff. 50 strokes. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. We'll be right back after this.